OLL23435. Is there any discussion on this amendment? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. The opinion of the chair of the ayes have it, and the Graham Amendment is adopted. Now we'll turn to consideration of other amendments. In a moment, I'm going to turn to you, Senator Hawley, to offer an amendment on which you and I have reached an agreement. With adoption of our agreed upon language, I understand you will co-sponsor the Stop CSAM Act. Senator Hawley's amendment would address the liability that applies under the bill when providers knowingly host or store CSAM or make it available. We've been trying to strike the right balance between penalizing this misconduct while not deterring providers from scanning their platforms for CSAM and quickly reporting and removing the offensive material when they find it. I thank Senator Hall and his staff for working closely with my staff on this amendment. Together, we've developed a second degree amendment that preserves the liability while refining the affirmative defense that responsible providers can use. The second degree amendment also revises a rule of construction concerning what evidence is needed to prove that the provider was knowingly hosting or storing CSAM or making it available. I now recognize Senator Hawley. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you for your, your excellent work on this and your, uh, your continued work on this. Uh, I have, since I've come to the committee, been urging the committee to take action to take on CSAM and to get it off of the internet to protect our kids. Obviously, this featured prominently in our Supreme Court confirmation hearing last year. The chairman and I have had many discussions about this over the last uh, couple of years, some of them more tense than others, uh, some of them on the Senate floor, some of them here in the committee hearing, but in the committee room, rather. But that's really one of the reasons I'm particularly grateful to him for forging ahead with this. And I just want to emphasize one portion of this bill that I think is critically, critically important, and that's Section 6 that the chairman was just alluding to, civil liability provision. And for the first time, it will allow victims of this material to get into court and to sue the people who made it, but also those platforms that knowingly host it. And I've become convinced in my short time here, having watched the FTC find Facebook, now Meta, they blow it off and do nothing, and they, they slap this other company on the wrist, they blow it off and do nothing. I've just become convinced that maybe the only way to get the attention of these platforms is to give individuals the right to get into court and to have their day in court. And frankly, that's just an old-fashioned American principle, that you ought to be able to get into court and have your day in court. And I think that's the way that we're going to achieve real change here and give real power back to the victims and get justice for them. So I think that for that reason alone, Mr. Chairman, this is a, an important, important bill, Section 6. You and I have agreed on some language that I think strengthens it while preserving that balance that you talked about. And so now, with your permission, I'll call up my amendment. Mr. Chairman. Senator Blumenthal. Uh, I agree 100% with Senator Hawley, and I welcome this bill and this amendment. I think it performs a really important goal, and it is exactly the same goal that Senator Graham and I sought to advance in the Earn It Act. We have total agreement on this effort to hold the big tech companies and platforms responsible, accountable, and cut through the section 230 immunity that they now have so broadly, and I think it's consistent with what Senator Graham and I have been trying to do, and I think it is the thrust of the future, and big tech ought to wake up and recognize they ought to, they're going to be held accountable and ought to be by the individuals who are harmed. And whatever we think about the FTC and about other government enforcement agencies, plainly they haven't been doing the job, and I welcome this proposal, and especially Mr. Chairman, your willingness to continue to work together on Thank you, Senator Blumenthal. Anyone else seek recognition? Mr. Chairman. Senator Graham. Uh, this is sort of a breakthrough moment here. We've had a couple in this committee, the Earn It Act, but what Senator Hawley has been able to work out with you is a giant step forward, allowing people to do something that most people in America would are amazed they can't do. If somebody is ruining your life, <laughs> there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, how many, I mean, if you get run over by a car, you can sue the person that ran you over. You know, it just amazes me that in 2023, that we're still in a position where the social media outlets and these sites can destroy a person's life and there's just nothing individually you can do about it. Well, those days are just about over. So in the 1990s, it made perfect sense, I guess, to give Section 
30 immunity so the, these technologies could emerge and, and become vibrant. I would say they have become vibrant. They've become out of control. They're the most profitable businesses on the planet. You can't sue them. There's no statutory scheme in place today that would regulate their behavior, and there's no agency that overlooks their shoulder to protect the consumer. So I'd like to do all three. I'd like to have a commission of some sort. I'd like to pass uh, your legislation, the Earn It Act. I'd like to do all that, but we're probably not going to be able to do all that. So here's where I'm going next. Section 230 has outlive, outlived its usefulness. I will be introducing with Senator Whitehouse and hopefully others legislation to sunset Section 230 in two years, giving us a chance to find a better answer. They will never deal with us, the social media companies, honestly and openly until we put Section 230 on the clock. I intend to do that, and I'd like your support uh, when that day comes. Thank you, Senator Graham. I'd like to offer the second degree amendment to the Hawley Amendment, OLL. Hawley has to call it his amendment. I'm sorry, yeah. Senator Hawley has to go first. I, I'd like to call it, Mr. Chairman, my amendment, which is OLL 23485. And I offer this Durbin second degree amendment to it, uh, and all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Majority members present having voted in the affirmative, the ayes have it. I now move to adopt the first degree amendment as amended. All those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. The majority of the members present having voted in the affirmative, the ayes have it, and the amendment is adopted. Mr. Chairman, Except could I no. ask now a consent to be added as a co-sponsor to your bill? Without objection. Uh, does any other senator seek recognition to speak or offer an amendment? Hey, before you click on the next video, if y'all could do me a big favor and hit that like button. The algorithm loves it, and so do I, because it helps promote these videos and get the message out about what our government has been doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, because every time I put out a video, you want to know about it, right? Thanks again, and have a good one. See you on the next one. Peace.